Hello everyone and welcome to Questions for Libby. Well, it's noontime here in Jackson and it's January of 2024. Can you believe, Libby, how fast time goes by? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, we got a um, show to do today. We haven't done one in a long time and today we have a uh, new microphone, one that I got as a present from Mama and from Libby uh, quite a while ago and I finally have learned how to use it. So we should have good sound on the uh, show today. And we got quite a few questions for Libby here because it's been a while. So how about we get started with uh, something that you've been doing uh, lately. Uh, it's been a uh, fun surprise for me. And what is that? Um, it's been knitting. Knitting. Libby has been knitting. Uh, wow. Uh, so tell us a little bit, Libby, um, about how you started knitting and why and who taught you and you know all of that okay so um we started knitting technically in fourth grade but i was horrible at it oh so this year um at on like the week before christmas break um my teachers decided that we were going to do knitting as an end of the quarter project. So, yeah. And so basically, they gave us the materials and we started. They had a bunch of like knitting tutorials on YouTube, but she also showed us some basic steps. And, yeah. So, who, who are these teachers that have been helping you with this? So, mainly it has been my teacher, Miss Haynes. Mm -hmm. She is a sixth grade ELA teacher, but she did teach us for quite some time. So. Okay. And, um, and so, d does the entire class uh, learn how to knit or just some of the students at the uh, Montessori school? Well, I'm pretty sure that last year she had a diff yeah, she had a different class last year. And so I'm pretty sure they learned how to knit, but then she got a whole bunch of new students. So she has been teaching us how to knit. Okay. And, um, what do you like about knitting? But knitting, because I know that uh, you have said that you really like knitting. But what is it attractive to you about knitting? Well, I'm not sure. Sometimes it can be relaxing, and once you get the hang of it, it can be really easy. And so sometimes, if I wake up in the middle of the night and I would just like read my book. Sometimes I'd also do some knitting because I'm bored. So yeah. And uh, so uh, do you uh, do other things while you're uh, knitting? Like for example, I know that you said that sometimes in the middle of the night when you wake up, you, you, you knit, but you do any knitting while doing other activities? Oh, well, I can't knit while I'm reading because I have to focus on reading and then I like to focus on the knitting bit as well. So usually if I want to do something, I'll set my knitting down. But sometimes, like, if I'm watching a show, I'll start knitting. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. So uh, what knitting project are you working on right now? Um, right now I am working on a scarf. Okay, you're, you're, what, what kind of a scarf? Well, what color? Uh, what kind of wool? Um, it's a kind of like turmeric yellow. Uh-huh. And it's not like a super big bulky yarn, but it's not super thin. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty soft. It looks pretty so. soft and pretty warm, too. Is it for me? No. Oh. Is it for Mama? No. For For Itsy? For our dog? No. Oh. So who, who's going to be the, the lucky receiver of that scarf at some point when you finish? Well, 
my abuelo because oh. he asked me to do it when he uh when I told him that I had started knitting. And so now I'm just working on that now. Okay, so let's say hello to our abuelo. Hola, abuelo. Hola. <laughs> okay, well, um, would you, um, do you think that uh, it is uh, a, a good idea? Uh, would you um, want to encourage people to uh, knit? And, and, and if so, why? Uh, I mean, it's pretty um, relaxing, like I said before, and it's not super hard. So it's a productive hobby. So you can like make a bunch of stuff. So like if you're just bored and you have nothing to do, if you can get um, hold of some yarn and some needles, then that'll work. And you don't have to use needles. You can use like pencils. You can you use need. pencils also. Uh yeah. But oh wow! You I can't didn't know make that. things as big. Yeah, because I mean it might slip off easily if you put too much, mm -hmm. but it's basically anything that can, like, you need two things that will be able to easily go in, like, interact mm -hmm. with the yarn, mm -hmm. I oh, guess. Yeah. I don't really know. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. I think you're right. You, you got some pretty fancy uh, um, needles yourself. Uh, where, where, where did you get those from? Well, Miss Haynes gave them to me. And the video I watched said that bamboo needles or wooden needles are good for beginners. But when I tried those in fourth grade, I did not like them. Mm -hmm. I like the plastic ones because even though can, they can be like sometimes slippery, it's easier to get them through the stitches. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, what, what grade are you in now? I don't think we mentioned that. Like... Oh, I'm in fifth grade. Oh, wow, fifth grade. I think the last time we did a Questions for Libby must have been two or three years ago. So. Oh, God. It's been a long time. <laughs> well, it's yeah. clear that, that knitting is, is a good activity to do. It's something you're really enjoying, and um, I'm really uh, glad that you're sharing that with our listenership out there. Now, we're in 2024 now, but 2023, Libby, was uh, in some ways a very fun year. Uh, especially somewhere around your birthday, uh, because what happened? Well, we went to Disney World for the first time. Disney World, wow. Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Now, yes. uh, what do you remember of the trip um, actually about getting there? It was a long drive, and uh, on the way back, we drove like 13 hours. 13 hours straight, yes. <laughs> But uh, on the way there, we just drove like six hours and stopped at a hotel and then just kept going. So, yeah. Well, that's uh, th that's definitely what we should normally do, just stop somewhere in the middle. But on the way back, yeah. I really just wanted to get back home. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, um, you, you had been wanting to go to Disney World for, for a long time. So, you know, tell us a little bit about your your experience at Disney World. What did you see there? Um, what was Disney World like? Well, we went in the summer, so it was so hot. Mm. So we had to bring a bunch of fans, and we didn't find them until the third day. <laughs> That's true. And But we had these, like, the other things, I guess. We had a bunch of sunscreen, and yeah. Yeah, sunscreen is very important because it's really, really sunny and hot in Florida in, yes. in, in June, July, which is when we went. Yeah, I don't know why we went then. Well, but partly. Well, know, I mean, it was for my birthday, yeah. but like. And also because, that you know, that's when we had time off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we stayed at a, a resort. Can you tell us a little bit about what you remember about the resort? Oh, well, I remember actually a lot about it. Okay. So it was at the Animal Kingdom, and um, they had like a restaurant in the resort, I think, and they just had some like African food and some like pizza for like kids and stuff, because, mm -hmm. you know. And so we would go there for breakfast, and the night that we got there, we ate there mm -hmm. because we did. We didn't know really where else to go, and it was super close. It 
um, the resort had a pool and it had a slide. Oh yeah. And it, that was really fun. And um, our room had this balcony so that you could see all of the like animals that they had out there. But yeah, basically they just had like gazelles. I don't really know what they were, but they had I'm pretty sure a giraffe. Mm-hmm. And so the, the, the animals were things. just roaming around there and uh, outside. Well, not exactly. They had to like control them and make sure they didn't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. But yeah, kind of. Well, I guess that's why it was called the Animal Kingdom. Yeah, and um, I had gotten binoculars so I could look at them really closely. You could so. you could look at them uh, just by looking out the window, right, of our, of our hotel room. Yes, but the binoculars made it easier to spot them mm-hmm. and take a closer look. So, yeah. Well, we were there for about a week, just about maybe six days or something like that. Um, and now Libby's counting on her fingers to <laughs> Yeah, about to six out. days. About six days, yeah, that's right. So, More um, like five and a half. We did go to all the different uh, theme parks that they have there because they have more the one theme park, there's about four of them, right? Um, uh, yes, So there what, what, what can you remember about some of those? Well, I have a souvenir from all of them. Oh, yeah. At least one. Um, so the first theme park that we went to was the Animal Kingdom. Mm-hmm. And the ride that I liked the most was the Avatar ride that they had. And it was like simulating the flight of passage that they have. Mm-hmm. And um, it was actually really fun, and I would have done it again. Now, you'd have, you had watched the movie before we went. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that was the Animal Kingdom. Uh, what other theme parks were there? Do you remember? Um, they had a uh, second, we went to the Magic Kingdom, third, we went to Epcot. Fourth, we went to Ma- uh, no Hollywood, Hollywood Studios. Studios. Yeah, there you and go. And then fifth, we went to Epcot. Back again. to Epcot. So, um, what do you remember about, for example, the um, uh, Magic Kingdom? Well, the Magic Kingdom had they had stuff. <laughs> yeah, so they had like they had this one ride. Mm-hmm. That was like kind of like a car, like roller coaster thing, where you could like customize a car, and then it was kind of like a bit of a roller coaster, and it went super fast, and it was really fun. Mm-hmm. And now, was it was it at the Magic Kingdom where you know somebody gave you some sort of a gift that uh, you know uh, meant some kind of a makeover? What was that about? Uh, so. My aunt Lulu, she uh, they had they had this like princess thing, and so like um you would like get a bunch of stuff done. So you would pick out a dress, mm-hmm. and the dress that I got they didn't have my size, so I got the size up, but then I can have it for longer. Mm-hmm. And then. To do your hair? Or? Yeah, they did my hair and they did my nails. Oh. And, yeah. Well, you really look very pretty. I, I, I do remember that. <laughs> and, uh, but that was at the Magic Kingdom. Most of the things had to do with, um, you know, magic and... Yeah. And, you know... <laughs> it's um, called the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, exactly. But, like, they, they also had that nice uh, castle and... Yeah, the castle. Yeah. Oh, and they had that restaurant we went mm. to there. That was really cool because they had this, like, Beauty and the Beast restaurant. Oh, yeah. And so they had three different rooms. They had, like, the ballroom, another room. I don't remember what it was called. And then they had the West Wing. And yeah. so we got to go in the West Wing. And they had this painting where it would have, like... The either the man or the beast, and when the lightning struck, they switched. Mm-hmm. And the, 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 didn't the beast show up a few times too? Yes. So you were eating, and the, the beast would show up and say hello or something. Yes, and the desserts they had there were really good too. Mm, yeah. Well, we can talk about the food in just a little bit. We also went to Epcot. Now, what did you think about Epcot? Epcot. 
Epcot was a nice and they had a bunch of rides and like they were they had like different like countries so they had like Mexico they yeah. had Canada they had Norway I think mm-hmm. yeah they did they had the United bad. Kingdom I think oh yeah they did because you know that you got the fish and chips you oh. got fish and chips there and <laughs> you, it know, was actually you know I really love good. fish and chips Libby every time I get a chance to now, the best fish and chips I ever had was in Sheffield yes, at a actual, soccer stadium. But that's in uh, England, right? that was a long time ago, like in 1994 or something like that. But anyway, uh, but, wow. the, but the fish and chips there at uh, Epcot was pretty good, too. Yeah, they were pretty good. Mm-hmm. And they basically like had fish and chips. And they had India. and They, they, had, had, they had India? I think they did, yeah. They had like some kind of India place. Mm. Maybe. So you I'm could walk sure. around the different... Yeah, you would just walk China, around. China, Japan. Yes. So, and they had this ride that I love the best that they've had since like 1990-something. Or 1980-something. Mm-hmm. The late 80s, maybe. Um, and it was the figment of imagination, right? Oh, the and figment. I... Yeah. Loved that ride because I loved the little dragon. He was so sweet, but it did need a little bit of like updating. Mm-hmm. Like they could have, mm-hmm. like, remade the dragon so that maybe it could like work a little easier. Mm-hmm. So I feel like they might be able to do that, but I don't know. And then we went to this gift shop on the fifth day, actually. Because we went back to Epcot. We we stayed for five days uh, in the theme parks, and so we actually yeah. we went, repeated. We went back yeah. to one of the theme parks, and it we was Epcot. We went back to Epcot. Was that your favorite Epcot, maybe? Uh, I don't know, really. Mm-hmm. Because all of them overall were pretty good. Mm-hmm. But, um... What about the gift shop, though? The gift shop. I got this gigantic... Figment, like squishmallow thing, <laughs> and he's just squishy because he's a squishmallow. Well, I kn- I knew you really liked it uh, because yes. you you kept talking about it, and we went back and we got it as you know the big souvenir for you because we knew you'd you'd, you'd enjoy that. Yes. Now we also went to Hollywood Studios, which was a little bit like. It was the really old, hot. you know, old Hollywood uh, movie studios from the, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s. Uh, what, what did you think about that? It was really hot that day, yes. but um, we did not go on the Tower of Terror, thank God. Tower of I Terror, what is that? Died. It's this ride, it's like, you know those rides where they take you up in the sky and then they drop you? <laughs> yeah. It was that, but it was supposed to be like a falling elevator. Oh. And you said that if we went back, you were going to get on that. Why? Well, I don't know. I, I kind of like uh, those kinds of uh, rides. Where you like that? It's kind of thrilling, yeah. You don't, you, you don't like those? Now, you did, we you did go, we did go on a couple elevator. of them. Really? Didn't we? Where you felt like it was... Kind of fast and and with big oh, drops and so tell us a little God. bit about those those two. Two. What'd well, you went. Uh, I went on one, but what was the other one? Well, one. What? Which? Which one was one of them? Mount Ex- Everest. Uh, Expedition right? Everest. Expedition Everest. It was there you go. at the Animal Kingdom, and it was actually the first roller coaster I ever went on, <laughs> and I almost died. <laughs> well, we didn't know that it was as. Um, uh, you know, extreme or, uh, yeah. you know, as, as it turned out to uh, be. So. Because I was scared the whole time. You liked it. I know you liked it. I saw it. I did like it. You saw it in your eyes. <laughs> you saw it in my eyes? Well, in the photo. Well, I didn't know us. that it was, uh, you know, as, as fast yeah, as I know, it turned out to be. Yeah, I know, but still. And um, so it had these two big drops. Mom was screaming the whole time. Very intense, yeah. And, but... I didn't scream on those two drops, but then they went backwards, and I was screaming. I was <laughs> there was a backward screaming. drop, or yes, oh. because they had two drops, and then they went backward the last drop because the theme was like it. The railroad track had been broken by the Yeti, and we went back, and that's when I started screaming for dear life. <laughs> it wasn't bloody murder, no, but. 
for dear life. <laughs> the people in the Tower of Terror were screaming bloody murder. I, I can believe it. it. I can I, believe it because you could hear, hear it. it. Yeah. All, like, when we were not even close, you could hear it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I remember. And that might be one of the reasons why I, 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 I would like to go on it. Just, just you know, just, just to feel just, what just that to feels see like. Dad. Yeah. Okay. You know, but I'm not going on that with you because I don't want to die in a flowing elephant. <laughs> no, no, I, I wouldn't make you. But there was another ride, though, that you went uh, with Mama, and I wasn't there. That was also quite intense, right? <gasps> oh, that one. I can't yeah, remember I, what I was doing, but I didn't go uh, on that You one. went on the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, that's true. So, um, I did not think it was going to be that bad. And then Mom was just like, you know, we should go on the other ones because there were two levels of the ride. There was the one where you were going to the moon, which was... Because this is Space Mountain, I think. Mm -hmm. Or something like that. And so you could go to the moon and it was less intense. Or you could go to Mars and it was more intense. And they kept saying, you can leave now if you want. And then mom was like, you know, we should probably... And I was like, no, no, I want to go on the Mars ride. Why did I do that? <laughs> and they like, had barf bags, right? <laughs> they had barf bags. <laughs> Oh, that's Itzy, who must have heard something, and she's getting excited. Okay, it's it's enough. It's yeah. Well, she wanted to be on the broadcast, I guess. Yes. So she wants to be famous. So was that uh, that? W which one was more m most intense, the 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 Mount Everest or the other one? The Expedition Everest, because mm. the Space Mountain it wasn't like that bad. It was pretty fun, but like. Yeah, mm -hmm. they had barf bags. <laughs> well, you did you so. did something related to um, Star Wars, right? Uh, at, oh, we the they, we Studios. did like all of the Star Wars rides. Cool. So because they had, um, yeah, they had this corner where they had all the Star Wars rides, and it was super cool. And I was just yeah, but. Yeah, in Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, Hollywood Studios, they had like this Toy Story Land place, I guess. I don't know. And we went on a roller coaster there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember it that. It was the Slink... S Slink Dog. Slink Dog. I think. Yeah. I almost said Snoop Dog. That was pretty good because there, was no, there wasn't really a, a big drop. Or yeah, anything. and it was actually pretty fun. I'd go on it again. But I was terrified of roller coasters after that. But then I still went on them. So. <laughs> they weren't that bad. You really. faced your fears a little bit. Well, I guess. I was just like whenever we went on a ride and I thought it could be a roller coaster, I was like, it's not going to be like a big roller coaster, right? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't usually. Now, we, we stayed at the theme parks pretty much all day long until they closed. Uh, and then there yes. were um, fireworks and things like that. Uh, the food was also pretty good. What, what, what do you remember about the food? What kind of restaurants did we eat at? Okay, so we ate at this, like, African restaurant. That was the first night, yeah. No, that was the second night. Oh, the second night, yeah. Because the first night we ate at the other, the mm. one at the resort. That's true. So we ate at this African restaurant, and they had this, like, slushy thingy, mm. like a mango slushy. I don't really know. It wasn't, like, exactly mm. a slushy, but, yeah. And then Magic Kingdom, I said before... They had that Beauty and the Beast mm -hmm. one, and it was really good, honestly. That Was that your favorite, the Beauty and the Beast? I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Epcot? Where did we eat at Epcot? I think it was Oh, yeah, Canadian. it was the Canadian place. What did you think about the Canadian place? It was pretty good, and I got this chocolate mousse dessert. Oh, yeah. the What, what was that called? The, uh, the uh, Moose Moose. Yeah, and I think it was like Fred the Moose or something. And it was, yeah. It was a moose, but we it had chocolate him. mousse in it. We killed him. <laughs> well, I, I, what I remember about that restaurant is that I had a poutine, which is a uh, You typical, couldn't finish it. And I couldn't finish it. It's the first time that's ever happened to me that I haven't been able to finish something uh, because it was so rich. It had fries and it had cheese fries, curds cheese. and it had, you know, all, all sorts of things. Almost like a, like yeah. a beef bourguignon, you know. That was the one. You got the beef uh, bourguignon I, poutine. Yeah, it was very nice, but I wasn't able to finish it. And it, that's ne that's really never happened to me before. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, we also, at Hollywood Studios, did we, what do you, oh, we went to that, it wasn't, you know, no. Um, what? 
There was a Mexican restaurant, but I think that was at Epcot. That was at Epcot. Yeah. And they had this other, like, mini and Mickey roller coaster at Epcot because they had China, and I just remembered that. They had mm-hmm. China. Mm-hmm. And so we went on that. It was, like, the Runaway Railway, and they had this, like... Because they have this series of, like, Mickey cartoons, and they had a fake one that you could get to go into, and it was really fun. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. There was also a Ratatouille one, no? Oh, yeah, that one was fun, too. Mm-hmm. That one was fun. Because the- it was, like, 3D, and I like seeing the 3D ones. And we, and then me and Mom also... uh, Didn't we eat at some Italian restaurant? Yes, that's right. I think that was that might have been at the... Um, the uh, end. The uh, fifth the, one? No, I think that the fifth one was the Mexican. I think it was at Hollywood Studios. Oh, yeah, Studios. yeah, at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. It was an Italian restaurant. It wasn't bad. Yeah, it was pretty good, mm-hmm. actually, I think. And so, um, yeah, we watched like m- the Muppets 3D thing that they had there. Mm-hmm. And I convinced Mom to get me some cotton candy because cotton candy is oh. the best. Yeah, cotton candy is always good. I remember as a kid, I, I used to like it, and I still do. <laughs> yeah. Because you know I love candy, so. Yeah. Uh, so, Libby, what uh, parts of uh, your experience at Disney World kind of stood out to you? What, what what were some of your favorite things that you did while you were there uh, this past summer of 23? Well... <laughs> I like all of it, mm-hmm. really. <clears throat> But is there anything um, that, that that you remember, you know, more than others? Like some ride or some food or, you know, something that happened um, that kind of stands out uh, from from the time we were there? Uh, we know, for example, that you like the uh, Beauty and the Beast restaurant, yeah. that the um, Expedition Everest was... Kind of thrilling, but also intense. It was thrilling for you. Not for me. <laughs> okay. But what what other uh, rides do you remember or things that we did uh, kind of stand out? Well, I liked the Slinky Dog roller mm-hmm. coaster. Mm-hmm. And I do remember that I got this stitch shirt mm-hmm. that they had at Hollywood Studios. Mm-hmm. And, um... You built a robot, too, no? Oh, yeah. Uh, I built a droid at the Star Wars place, and I still have it, and it can mm-hmm. do a bunch of stuff. It was super cool. Mm-hmm. And, um... I think I was going to say something else. Something else that you that you enjoyed? <laughs> yeah, but I don't remember now. <laughs> In some of those um, rides... Like I said before, I like the figment ride. Mm-hmm. It's almost like uh, you're. Th- th- they get you inside the movie, right? In some of those, in some of those rides. Uh, yeah, they had that. They had that frozen ride. Oh yeah, with yeah. the water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and that one ride at the Animal Kingdom with the water. Oh Remember? yeah, that, that's the, true. The Rapids ride that yes, we right. yeah, waited yeah. like 70 minutes. It had a 70 minutes. Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, with some of the rides, uh, we, we were able to, to go on the fast lanes. Yeah. Uh, with some others, we weren't able to because you only had a specific amount of uh, uh, fast lanes or yeah. whatever they call it. I can't yeah. remember what they called it. but It was called the fast lane, I think. Where you could or just like go pass, in. But I think, you know, for the most part, it was really tiring. It was very hot, but I think... But it was really fun. I think Libby had a great and, time. And they also had the pool, so like after it was really hot, you could just like go in the pool. So nice. I can tell that you would love to, to, to go back to, to Disney World yes, at some point. And it, but it was exhausting. It, it really was. But <laughs> yeah, I just... Yeah. But if you go back, or when you go back, uh, what, what are you looking forward to doing or trying out? Well, some of the other things that we didn't do, because there was a lot. Of yeah. stuff. So I would like to do some of my favorite rides again, but I would also like to do some of the other things that they had there, and I don't really remember what they were, but I like to do them. Yeah, I, I Except I the Tower of Terror. You can do that. It's almost impossible to do, uh, not almost impossible, it is impossible to do everything the first time you go, so. Unless you stay for a month, because they had this <laughs> weird, like, month pass thing that you could get, but that costs, like, millions of dollars. <laughs> How about, um, you know, to, to, to finish with this uh, second topic of questions for Libby, Uh, what uh, grade out of 10 would you give to your experience at, at Disney World this past summer? 
nine because it was way too hot (laughs) but if you go at like christmas time because they have like christmas stuff there then that might be able to like you could actually like not be hot yeah that's true i mean but then it might be cold it's always gonna be crowded though right it was definitely crowded and the lines were like super long Mm -hmm. and like even if you went through the fast lanes for some of the rides it was still long. It was long. Yeah. And one thing I really loved because, is... Because we... Um, thank God we got the fast lane for that Avatar ride because the wait was like 100-something mm-hmm. minutes for like the normal thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one thing I really liked was because there were so many people, there were people from all over the world, so you could hear different languages Yeah, and you got to you. speak like Spanish. I got to speak some people. Spanish. I got to speak some French. Yeah, it was It was Wasn't fun. there some dude that like... Spoke Portuguese. Yeah, that, I, that, that's true. That I also guy. spoke Portuguese because there that, was somebody from Brazil. Guy. Yeah, there were a lot of yeah. people from Brazil. So besides Spanish, other languages that you can hear a lot at Disney World are Chinese. There were a lot of people who spoke Chinese and yeah, also because they had that Portuguese. China thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Libby. Well, uh, we're glad we were able to do this uh, and also celebrate your birthday at Disney World last uh, summer. Uh, now, one thing that you've been doing for a while uh, is that. You have been learning to play guitar. Uh, how, how did that start? Why, why did you decide that you wanted to play guitar? I don't remember because, like, I was eight. <laughs> That's so, true. It's been a and while. And now right? I'm, like, ten and a half. Yeah. So, so it, you've been working I don't know. at playing guitar for over two years now. Yeah. So, um... So I got my guitar for my eighth birthday. Mm-hmm. And... And t- tell yeah. us a little bit about the, uh, the the classes. Who are you learning from and what do you do? So I'm learning from Scott Knight. He doesn't teach just uh, guitar. He taught my older cousin. Jack? Jack, yeah. yeah. He's my cousin. Right? I think he taught him guitar too. Uh, he taught him guitar. Probably. Although Jack plays the bass. Yeah, now. so he taught him the bass. Like, he can teach, like, he teaches guitar, but he also can, like, teach bass. And maybe something else. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. But, like, something like that. Well, he used to live in California. Yes. And he lives now uh, around the Franklin County area. So, he used to live in, like, Nashville, and then he moved to California, and now he moved to Franklin. So, he's back in Tennessee. Yeah. But that means that, uh, you know, he is not with you in the same room when you are... Uh, you know, uh, taking the classes from him. No. Uh, no, we did that the same way in, like, California. Uh-huh. So because, how, like, how do you do it? Do you do it online? Yeah, we use Zoom. Okay. And so I'll practice, and then I'll just put stuff for him, and he'll give me new assignments, and he'll give me feedback on what to do. Okay, yeah, that's so, good. Yeah. So, so how are you enjoying uh, learning to play guitar? Um, it's been fun, and I like being able to play, but some parts of it have been a little stressful. What do you mean? So, like, some of the, like, I got this one song that was, like, I got, like, at least two songs that were, like, I didn't understand how to do them, and then I finally got past it, and it was, yeah. And then, like, now I can play them if I want. So, what things have you uh, learned how to play so far? Things that you you know how to play a little bit of. Okay. So I can play the Burning Love, the like the guitar song. bit, and then you can like sing with it. I can't sing while I'm playing guitar though. I mean, some people can, but also I probably like just can't sing at all. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and then um, there was Here Comes the Sun. Mm-hmm. And I have learned some Christmas songs because I have this book mm-hmm. with Christmas songs. And and that's it. See again. She really wants to be famous, you guys. She just wants to be on 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 the episode with us, right? I think maybe she's getting hungry, and so you know, pretty soon we we need to finish to to have lunch. But um, but uh, what you know, what other songs have you have you been uh, working on? Um. A lot of others, but um, also Star Wars. Star Wars, the Star yeah. Wars uh, main theme. The main theme song from the Star Wars uh, 
movie. And uh, how do you like uh, playing guitar? Has it been fun? But you know, I know you you, you don't love to practice, right? Because I'm lazy. I'm a procrastinator. If you didn't <laughs> already know that, <laughs> but yeah. But what do you like about playing guitar? What is what is fun about it? Mm? Um. Um. Well, it's just like now I can play stuff, and not everyone knows how to play guitar. And you know, like a lot of singers that I like play guitar. Yeah, that's true. Like. Elvis Presley played guitar. Mm -hmm. Taylor Swift plays guitar. Taylor Swift does, yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, um, to 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 finish our questions for Libby, would you be uh, willing to play a song for the audience out there? Is there anything that you have um, prepared sure. that you'd like to play? Because I happen to have a guitar right here. <laughs> Almost <laughs> magically, a guitar has appeared. Okay. So if you want, you know, what you can play something. Song. What do you think? <laughs> Well, I could do the Star Wars song. The Star Wars theme song. Okay, well, uh, if you're ready, uh, you can. You, let, let's let's move the microphone a little bit closer so that uh, everyone can hear it. Yeah, that's the guitar right there. And here's Libby playing on Questions for Libby, the Star Wars theme song. the theme song from Star Wars played by Libby to uh, finish this episode of Questions for Libby. Uh, thank you, Libby, for being here. It's always fun chatting with you. Uh, and, you know, we hope to see you again before too long. And I wonder if there's anything that you'd like to say to the audience out there uh, before we sign off. Well, uh, it's been really fun because, like you said at the beginning... Or somewhere in the middle. <laughs> uh, we haven't done this for like two years, so it's been really fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I guess, yeah. Yeah, well, I <laughs> hope we can do it more often. Yeah. So this is uh, an episode of uh, our podcast here on uh, YouTube, and we're gonna sign off right now. Thank you for listening to Questions for Libby.